In this video, we're looking at cubic and reciprocal graphs. We're starting with reciprocal graphs. These are the graphs of something over x. So it could be y equals 1 over x, y equals 2 over x, y equals 3 over x, and so on. So these are called reciprocal graphs. We're going to draw the graphs, and then we should be able to see what kind of shape they take. So the question says complete the table of values for y equals 2 over x. You could use a calculator to complete this. I'm going to do it without one. So y is going to be 2 divided by the x values. So 2 divided by negative 4. It's going to be negative. And half. So 2 over 4 is the same as a half. So I'll put 0 0.5. 2 divided by negative 2 is going to be negative again. And 1, 2 goes into 2. A positive divided by negative is going to be a negative. And 2 over 1 is 2. 2 over half. How many halves go into 2? How many halves make 2? That's 4. Now 2 divided by 0. How many zeros go into 2? It's an infinite number of zeros, so I'm going to leave this blank. If you put this one in the calculator, it will give you an error. It won't do 2 divided by 0. An infinite number of zeros will go into 2. And then 2 divided by a half. So positive over a positive is positive. So it's positive 4. 2 over 1 is 2. 2 over 2 is 1. And 2 over 4 is 0 0.5. So let's plot these on the graph and see what kind of shape it takes. So we've got negative 4, negative 0 0.5. So x is negative 4, y is negative 0 0.5. Negative 2, negative 1. Negative 2, negative 1. Negative 1, negative 2. And negative 0 0.5, negative 4. There's no answer for 0. Then we've got negative 0 0.54. So back up here. 1, 2. 2, 1. And 4, 0 0.5. So we've kind of got two separate halves to this graph. So we'll join up the points for smooth curve. So it looks something like that. And if we kept going with values, so we kept going with bigger and bigger values, what you'll notice is a pattern where these lines get closer and closer to zero but they never actually reach it. So they get closer and closer to zero, but they'll never reach zero. So this is a shape of a positive reciprocal graph. So a positive reciprocal graph is always in this kind of shape. Now we're going to look at a negative one. So Again, complete the table of values for y equals negative 2 over x. So we've got negative 2 over x, negative 2 over negative 4. That's like a negative divided by a negative, so that's positive. So 2 over 4 is a half, and it's going to be positive half. Negative 2 over negative 2 positive 1. Negative 2 over negative 1 is 2. And negative 2 over negative half is the same as 2 over half, which is 4. How many zeros go into negative 2? An infinite amount, so we're not going to have an answer for that. But negative 2 divided by a half, so a negative divided by a positive is going to give us negatives. How many halves go into 2? That's 4. How many 1s go into 2? That's 2. 
one two goes into two and half of four goes into two so let's plot these points negative four half negative two one negative one two negative half four and we've got half negative four one negative two two negative one and four negative half so you can see we've got the same shape So we've got the same shape, but they're in different quadrants. So again, these lines are going to keep going on and on forever, never reaching the axes. They'll get closer and closer, but never reach it. And they're in different quadrants. So for a negative reciprocal graph, we are, looks like this. So a negative 1 over x graph is in the top left and the bottom right quadrant. A positive is in the bottom left and then the top right. So they are the shapes of reciprocal graphs. Now let's look at a cubic graph. So complete the table of values for y equals x cubed. So again, I'm going to do it without a calculator. So we've got negative 2 cubed. So negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. So negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. A negative times a negative is positive. And then a positive times a negative is negative. And 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. Negative 1 cubed is going to be negative 1. 0 cubed will be 0, 1 cubed is positive 1, and 2 cubed is positive 8. So we'll plot this on. So we're at negative 2, negative 8, negative 1, negative 1, 0, 0, then 1, 1, and 2, 8. So we're going to join it up with a curve again. And it looks something like that. So it's a positive x cubed. So it goes from the bottom left to the top right. They can make this kind of shape. So they can cross the x axis up to three times. But a positive x cubed will always start bottom left and end top right. So let's have a look at a negative x cubed. The equation is more complicated. It's probably easier to use a calculator this time. So we've got y equals 4x minus 2x cubed. And we've got a table of values to fill in. So I'm going to use the calculator and I'm going to replace the x's with brackets. So 4 times brackets, 4 brackets minus two brackets cubed. And inside the brackets, I'm going to place the numbers that I'm substituting in. So we've got negative two, which gives us an answer of eight. Then I'm going to change the negative two to a negative one. And that's negative two. Change a negative one to a zero, and that's going to be zero. And then we've got a positive one. Which is two. 
and a positive 2, which will be negative 8. So let's plot these on the graph. We've got negative 2, 8, negative 1, negative 2, 0, 0, 1, 2, and 2, negative 8. So we've got a graph that's going to cross the x-axis three times, and it's a negative x cubed, so it's starting at the top left and ending up in the bottom right, so it's going down. So a positive graph is going to go up, and a negative graph is going to go down. So let's try and draw this. So let's join them up. And it looks something like that. So a negative x cubed graph comes down from the top left to the bottom right. And a positive x cubed graph comes from the bottom left to the top right. So if we have a graph like this, that's a positive x cubed, and a graph like this is a negative x cubed. So one question to go, match the equations to their graphs. So we've got a list of equations here and some graphs drawn, and see if you can figure out which equation goes with which graph. So we've got straight lines, quadratics, cubics, and reciprocals here. So let's look at which graphs are cubic. So a cubic graph has got a highest power of x cubed. So on the equations, we can see we've got two cubic graphs. So two graphs for highest power of x cubed. And they are going to match F and D. F and D are cubic graphs. You can see they've got the same shape as the ones we did previously. So one's a positive cubic graph, one's a negative cubic graph. So the positive goes up, so it starts in the bottom left, ends in the top right. So that is the positive x cubed, the x cubed term is positive, and the other one starts in the top left and ends in the bottom right. So that's our negative cubic. How about the reciprocal graphs? So that's the 2 over x and the negative 2 over x. And the reciprocal shapes, they are b and c. So again, the positive is the bottom left to the top right. So that's C. C is a positive, which is going to be 2 over x. And B is a negative from the top left to the bottom right. So that one's B. Our quadratic graphs are our parabola, U shape or N shape. And the positive is going up so the happy face and the negative is going down so a positive one is x squared plus 4x minus 5 and our negative one is 4 minus x squared which is going to be h then we've got two straight lines left the positive graph goes up, so from the bottom left to the top right. As you go across, it gets higher. And the other one has got a negative gradient. As you go across, it gets lower. So a negative gradient is A, which is minus 2x plus 3. That's the x term. The x term is negative, so it's got a negative gradient. 
is going down and g must be x plus 3 it's a positive straight line graph the x term is positive so it's going up